In Xcode 13, there are two interesting breakpoints improvements. There's a brand new column breakpoint, which can help you debug more complex expressions, and the symbolic breakpoints has been enhanced. Xcode can now show you if it's unable to resolve it. My name is Mike and let's check it out. So far, when setting the breakpoint, it was only possible to set it on a specific line. Uh, for more complex expressions, it was not that useful as it is uh, hard to debug. Uh, of course, you can just uh, add a few lines or just step in or out from functions, uh, but it's not that practical. In the Xcode 13, you can just go to show code actions and create a column breakpoint. It will show this small mark here and you can just edit it or disable or delete as a re regular breakpoint. Let's add a couple of more of those. And now let's run the app. As you can see, Xcode stopped here. It is indicated by this green underline. We can continue the program execution and it will just go to the next breakpoint. It is very handy when you are dealing with more complex expressions that are like in one line. It is probably more useful when working with closures, but there's a caveat. Let's try to add a breakpoint here and also here. You can see here that this breakpoint has been disabled. Let's see the navigator and let's check what's going on. If you will hover over this dis disabled breakpoint, you can see the explanation. Xcode will not pause on this breakpoint as it has not been resolved. Let's run the application. Let's step over those. And then, as you can see, we are inside this closure. We can check what, what's inside or like print this and execute. There's a compact map and yeah, that's all. As you can see, this one has not been resolved. Now let's check the symbolic breakpoints. Let's add a new one. In previous Xcode version, after adding a symbolic breakpoint, you couldn't verify if the breakpoint exists until the app execution. In the Xcode 13, it will try to resolve it the same way as it was for the column breakpoints. As you can see, it's not being resolved. Let's try to change it. Wait a couple of seconds and we have it. A list of all potential breakpoints in the code. I hope that you are going to find those new changes useful. Please keep in mind that Xcode is still in beta and some of this may change. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.